Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about Macintosh computers and how specific apps can access your microphone and your camera. It's not a big deal, but it can cause a potential security risk if you have an unknown application or program accessing your camera's microphone or I should say your Max camera and microphone. The reason I said that is because sometimes they're two in one. And especially on Mac, they're all embedded. So you really have to be careful on your Macintosh computer. On Windows computer, especially with desktops, you have to add in a microphone and camera to get it to work. Now with the Windows laptop, the camera and microphone is already included. But on all Apple products except for Mac mini, your camera and microphone are integrated, which can cause a security risk because these applications can be monitoring your hardware, meaning your camera and microphone, which are running all the time. We're going to switch screens here, take a look at a Macintosh, and show you how you can make sure that apps aren't accessing your microphone, your camera, and other pieces of hardware on your Mac. Switching screens here, we've got our Macintosh computer. Now, this Mac is running Mojave, which is the most current version of Mac OS. To check out to see which version of Mac OS you have, it's pretty simple. Just go to the Apple menu and click on it. Once you click on it, you can click on About This Mac, and it'll appear in a few seconds and let you know which version of Mac OS you have. Currently, the most recent version of Mac OS is Mojave. So you can follow these steps. If you've got Mojave, if you don't have Mojave, it's probably a good time to get up to date and make sure that you're running the latest and greatest operating system on your Mac to make sure that you're safe from the latest security threats out there. If you've got an older Mac, it's a good possibility that you can't update to Mojave, but you can follow these same steps in High Sierra, which is the version of Mac OS behind Mojave. Now, getting back to our mission, Let's go to where you can see how to find out what programs are accessing the hardware on your computer. Now we're going to go back to the Apple menu, which is in the upper left-hand corner of your Mac. doesn't matter if you have an iMac, a Mac Mini, or a MacBook Pro or Air. Once you are in the Apple menu, you can just go to System Preferences. Once you click on System Preferences, you want to navigate to the icon that says Security and Privacy. Let's go ahead and double click on that icon. After a few seconds, we'll get the, the privacy and security setting. Now, when you initially click on security and privacy, it'll take you to the general section. This stuff you can ignore, but let's go back so that you can see that again. So at the Apple menu, it'll take you to security and privacy. Once you click on that, it'll start on general. What you want to navigate to is the privacy section. Once you're under privacy, it will show you all of your programs and location services on your MacBooks to see or to show you which apps are accessing specific details. Now, one of the most important things is location services, especially if you have a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro. Location services is basically the tracking system built into your Mac to kind of allow apps to figure out where you are and to deli deliver services that are based on your geographic location. Now, for some apps, that's okay. For other apps, you may not want to have that turned on. Now, you can enable location services, but on this Mac Mini, those location services are turned off. Now, to go and look and see what all the other apps on your Mac are accessing, it's a pretty simple process of just clicking on each icon and the program will tell you which programs are accessing the apps in hand. So for example, for context, CCleaner is accessing the, this app. Now I don't know why, but that might be something that you want to turn off because if it's an app you're not familiar with, you don't necessarily want it messing around with some of the apps that are built into your Macintosh. So if you want to turn off CCleaner from accessing contacts, just a simple matter of clicking CCleaner and then it'll, it will not allow you to, or CCleaner to access 
your contacts. Now, same thing for calendar, reminders, or any other apps. If you look over on the right-hand side, if there's any apps that are attached to both software and hardware, they'll be listed on the right-hand side. Now, for camera and microphone, there are currently on this Mac Mini no apps that are accessing programs here. But if you click on your camera and microphone and you see apps that are on the right-hand side, like we did under contacts, you want to make sure that you uncheck that app to make sure that those applications don't have access to your microphone and camera. Now, if you've got the perfect setup where nothing is accessing your microphone and camera, then you are going to have a screen like I have where it says apps have that have requested will appear here. There are no apps accessing the camera and microphone, so we're in good shape as far as strange apps accessing the camera and microphone. One other thing that you might want to check is full disk access. Now that means that there are programs that can have access to the full capacity of your Mac product. Now you want to make sure that these programs are not accessing the hard drive of your Mac because potentially those could be viruses or other malicious programs that are monitoring your Mac. So you want to make sure those are turned off. But the most important thing is, is the camera and the microphone. So do your due diligence, go into your uh, system preferences, make sure you go under security and make sure that there are no apps accessing your microphone and camera on your MacBook. As always, if you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below and let me know if there's any Mac tips that you would like to like for me to cover in future videos. And speaking of videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel at Integral. I always have to lean back so I can show the logo. But I don't know why I do that because our logo's in the in the corner. That corner there. I like how I got that. There it is. So there's the Integral logo. Or you can subscribe to myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert. YouTube channel is full of tech videos that are designed to help individuals businesses and home-based businesses with all the technology challenges that they may encounter. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And as always, thanks for watching.